Hello! I'm here with uh, King191912 this time. Hi. Yes. And uh, he's going to tell us why Eric can't make it again. He burned his dick off. He's been a lot. He's been through a lot this weekend. Yeah, well, he, here's the thing. I, it, it's actually my fault. Um, <laughs> those, those, those of you who know me know I'm a big fan of Why the Last Man, and I got Eric into it. And he started reading it, and he really hated the Amazons. And, uh, you know, he wanted to counter-protest them. So they burned off their breasts to protest men. So he burned off his dick to protest them. <laughs> wow, thank you for tying that in for us, <laughs> King. He, he, here's, the, here's the big problem, though. Here's the really big problem. For those of you who understand the continuity of the new show, you'll remember Mini Kaja mentioned Eric, you know, period problem. Well... <laughs> Next week is when that starts again, so he's going to have a very rough time. So if you would all please go give him your sympathy, wish him well, because he's going to have a very rough next week. Since there's a lot of burning involved, uh, tell him to get plenty of aloe vera. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, thank you for referencing the continuity of my own show. That that pleases me. <laughs> so, no for those of you keeping count at home, he hunted the chupacabra. Cut out a minute there. He hunted, he hunted down the chupacabra, got trapped in a giant vacuum cleaner, and and cauterized his penis. Yep. He's not going to be happy tomorrow, because I'm pretty sure he's going to be here for Sunday's news. Well, I mean, he's not going to be happy. I mean, you know, I would hate to lose my dick. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, this is funnier than the football or thing we did yesterday. Okay. So we're going to just go to the news. So uh, they've shown the logos for Avengers and uh, Green Lantern. Now everyone speculate what they mean, like I did with the websites. <laughs> yeah, um, these look pretty good, actually. Uh, <laughs> really, that's the first thing you say? I, I agree, they look good, but still. Oh, the the one thing I will say, though, the Green Lantern one, the little fuzzy in the background, I, I think it might have been a little bit of Photoshop going on. Uh, it's, it's green light, so obviously they're just Photoshopping it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, actually, I made it. That's why it's on there. <laughs> so you're the one who's been causing Eric's conspiracy theory. How I'm dare so, you? I'm so, Well, you know what? If he would stop saying that gargoyles suck, I would stop, you know? <laughs> Making up all this Green Lantern stuff. It's that actually, simple. Actually, I'm not questioning why I say how, why you're doing it, because it's the funniest thing on this show, hearing him complain. <laughs> uh, so, I thank you. Uh, everyone except for uh, th that one guy who sent us that long, angry comment. And you can suck a dick. Uh, well, yes, just how Eric burned his off. And <laughs> this show's going smoothly. <laughs> yes, so... Thank King. Just everyone go thank King after you're done listening to this. Yeah, and, and, and if you want to know how to thank me, there's a subscription button on my page. Go click it. Well, that's it. I thought you were going to suggest pre-order me the books on my Amazon wish list. <laughs> no, that's Eric. I, I'm <laughs> Steve, little... listen. Help King. Use <laughs> your giant pile of money. And, okay, we're going to move on to the next one. So, uh, again with more Avengers news, uh, they've made the casting of Hawkeye and Bruce Banner official. Uh, Mike Ruffalo's playing Bruce Banner. Uh, yeah, Mark Ruffalo and... Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If you, can he if you stay quiet, you can hear a bunch of people being very angry and knocking down their, knocking down, like, their Hulk memorabilia over the fact that Norton isn't coming back. And then we have, uh, Jerry uh, Renner being Hawkeye. Yeah, which... I don't care. I don't really care either. Uh, Here, here's the thing about Jeremy Renner. He's been, like, I've seen him in two movies, Hurt Locker and SWAT. And he was cool in, like, SWAT and, you know, Hurt Locker is, like, he got an Academy Award nomination. So, I mean, he can act, but I don't know anything about Hawkeye, so I can't give an opinion on if he... If Eric was here, he could tell us everything. Yeah, any anyone that has an arrow in their name or uses an arrow... <laughs> Anyone, who, anyone who's an archer, Eric just loves to talk about. Seriously. <laughs> yes. Um, and then, uh, you know, the Mark Ruffalo dude being the Hulk. The only thing that annoys me about that is uh, he's not a good actor, and Ed Norton is. 
So according to Marvel, he's a high caliber actor. Marvel was dumb. Oh, I've seen oh Marvel don't you hear the the most dickish thing they said uh, at the panel, which was like an hour uh, ago. Someone just as their as their question screamed out Edward Norton, and then the guy who was like running the panel said, "Oh, don't worry, we still got the rest of the panel." And then he's just like, "Mark Ruffalo, everybody." That's a dick move. Yeah, you know what? Mark Ruffalo, if you're listening, which I know you are because it's us, the new show. Everyone listens to it. Hey, everyone loves to listen to a guy from Nebraska. Exactly. Uh, you can't act. <laughs> Mark Ruffalo is going to sue me now. I don't – well, he's going to have to go through – who who does the production for this show again? Mark Millar and he doesn't care. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I can't. I can't even remember his name half the time because he does things so late that it, it becomes forgettable after time. Yes, <laughs> I like making that joke all the time. Yes, uh, you, you'll you'll have to go to him. So you have to contact him first, and we'll get back to you in five years after we see the next issue of whatever the hell he's writing, and you can I, fight me. Well, I mean, with the ten thousand books he has going on, it's more like the next. 70 years, so we'll both be dead, and it won't matter. Or or you can uh, go the quicker route and just destroy a cornfield. That usually gets my attention. I, I just show up and evaluate the damage. Um, you <laughs> yep. there? Yeah, I'm here. You're cutting out. Oh, this is... Sorry about that, folks. Uh, technical trouble. Yeah, uh, Mark Ruffalo wasn't happy that I said he stuck, <laughs> so he canceled our new show for a very short amount of time. Mark Ruffalo stood up and said, Cancel that feed! Uh, he just yelled it out of the convention center. Yeah, and what really <laughs> sucked is I had a full signal when he did it, too. Uh, yes, mine, mine's strong now. Uh, so, yeah, 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 I go and spec corn. Uh, I, I just stand there and say, Wow! It's all burnt. Well, I'm gonna go home now. <laughs> okay, let's go. I just, I don't care, I just leave. So, next story, which means really nothing <laughs> it's marvel's gonna have uh um gonna be publishing cross-gen like characters from the cross-gen comics i don't even know what the hell that is it was i have no clue it's not yeah um it's not batman so i don't know anything how do you know maybe batman like guest starred once <laughs> <laughs> someone find that issue if that, if that exists or i'm just making shit up uh they were uh let's see hold on here i don't know I, apparently it was a Company that Disney bought out, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they filed for bankruptcy. That explains how. It's a company like a lot of big name creators actually worked on it, like Chuck Dixon and Steve McNiven and Mark Wade. Uh, yeah, it had people that I've heard of. It's not really important. Now you know something useless. Good for you, folks. You, you get a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> Here, here's a cookie. Right, okay, this is probably gonna be the last one before we switch over. Uh, DC put out yet uh, another teaser trailer for DC Universe Online. So, here's the thing about DC Universe Online. Um, it looks just like every other MMO out there. Um, and it's being charged the same as every other MMO out there. The only thing that is going to separate this from World of Warcraft is if you care more about playing as a superhero versus playing as a knight. That's really it. <laughs> if that's the fighting thing for you folks... I mean, all MMOs have the same mechanic, so... Yeah, uh, that, that's why I don't play them. They're kind of, they kind of bore me after, like, five minutes. Yeah. So, um, we don't care. Time to switch.